Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, the place where we meet up and we talk about real life situations. On this week's episode of Wine Down Wednesday, we are going to be talking about what it means to give yourself grace. And I decided to make this this week's topic because my first episode of Wine Down Wednesdays I spoke about consistency, right? How I want to be consistent in everything I do in life. And especially with my YouTube in general, but as well as my Wind Down Wednesday series. And I was doing extremely good. And up until last week, I've only missed one episode and I was really beating myself up. I recently had a therapy session and I was speaking to my therapist about how I was so upset because I missed the episode and she reminded me, as she always does, to give yourself grace. Because, yeah, you missed the episode, but you've been consistent since you said you would be consistent. So, I just decided that's a great topic to touch on today. Giving yourself grace, not beating yourself up about certain situations or certain things that you don't get to do. If you have, like, ten things on your checklist, if you get to go through five, Give yourself grace. You did that much, right? Because we have other stuff going on besides that checklist. Before I get into things, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have your post notification bells turned on so you are alerted each and every time that I post for Wind Down Wednesdays. And without further ado, let's get into the video. To give yourself grace can simply mean to be patient with yourself, be understanding with yourself, and just know that you are only one person and you are doing the best you can do. So when I think, again, when I think about giving myself grace, I try to remind myself like, Katrina, you're doing the best you can do. And that's all you can do, right? You can only do your best. I've always been a perfectionist, right? Whether it's taking a test, and I mentioned this in previous videos, it starts from childhood sometimes, right? Because you take a test, your parents are like, okay, you could do better. You clean your room, they're like, okay, you could do better. Anything you do, there's someone in the world telling you you can do better. A lot of times in life, you feel like you can always be further than you are, which is totally human and it's totally normal. We all have goals, we have dreams, we have aspirations, and we all want to do more and be more, right? But you have to always remember, you're not where you used to be. And I try to, that's something that I try to say to myself often. I may not be where I want to be, but I'm definitely not where I used to be. And in that case, I need to give myself grace for making it as far as I made it. I never really was big on giving myself grace. I was always hard on myself. I was always saying I could do better. And it's like you want something, you want something. But every time you get to what you want or you get what you want, you're always going to want more. That's just somehow the way society makes us think that we always have to do better and get better. So you're really not ever living in the moment, right? I'm learning to give myself grace. And I am very grateful that my therapist reminds me of that all the time, no matter what we talk about, because I'm always telling her like, all right, I need to get to this. I want to attain this. I want to do this. And she always reminds me to give yourself grace. Like, look at how far you came from where you was at, right? So I am here to tell you guys as well to give yourself grace. Like I said, maybe your to-do list for today had 10 things on it. Guess what? If you got through one, you did amazing and shout out to you <laughs> if you got to four five if you did all ten super but if not give yourself grace a lot of you guys out there you're not just like i said doing what's on this to-do list some of you guys are mothers some of you guys have other responsibilities some we work great right? some of us go to school we gotta do laundry we gotta cook we gotta go to the grocery store we gotta do so many things so sometimes even though these things on our to-do list is urgent, we don't get a chance to do it because we're only one person. We're not superhuman. So give yourself grace and always remind yourself that tomorrow is a new day, tomorrow is another opportunity, and I'm not going to be so hard on myself. If I didn't scratch everything off that I wanted to, guess what? I'm not going to beat myself up because tomorrow is a new day. If I said I was cooking for the rest of the month to save money and I don't feel like cooking tomorrow, 
I'm gonna give myself grace because I know today was a long day and I barely had the strength to get through the day. So the least of my worries should be me not cooking for tonight. Guess what? I'm giving myself grace and I'm gonna place that Uber Eats order. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. So don't don't give yourself grace and then beat yourself up about something. Once you give yourself grace, leave it there. Tomorrow's a new day. And this is the advice that I want you guys to take that I also know that I need to take for myself. Some of the ways you can practice giving yourself grace of not comparing yourself to others. And for me, I don't feel like I really compared myself to others except for when it came to school. I always felt like, why didn't I finish school yet? But not guess what? Not everybody had to work a full-time job or two while you had to work a full-time job or two. So again, leave the comparison alone and give yourself grace because guess what? You worked two jobs and you went to school. Kudos to you. And that one was for me. Celebrate your wins. I don't care how big they are or how small they are. Some people wait till they graduate college to celebrate. Guess what? If you pass the exam, you pass the quiz, celebrate. If you pass the semester, celebrate. Take yourself out as you would for a graduation dinner. Celebrate all of your wins. I don't care how big or small. And I don't care if nobody else is celebrating with you. Celebrate yourself. As always, I want you guys to comment down below what are some ways that you've learned to give yourself grace and how has it worked for you? Like, what are your methods? How do you give yourself grace? Do you feel like you give yourself enough grace or are you constantly beating yourself up about something that you get, did not get to accomplish? So make sure you comment down below, like the video, because as always, I want your feedback. I'm not sure if I said this in the beginning of the video, um, again, I made this video about grace, about giving yourself grace because I missed last week's episode of Wine Down Wednesdays and I was beating myself up about it and here I am giving myself grace because I'm still getting things done. With all the daily life stressors and complications and obstacles, I'm still pushing through and I'm still being consistent, as consistent as I can be. So that's why I decided to talk about giving myself grace. And I hope you guys make sure you take care of yourself, put yourself first, give yourself grace, and stop beating yourself up because you are amazing, okay? And on that note, I will see you guys on the next episode of Wine Down Wednesdays. Before I go, I just wanted to quickly read um, some mantras. Mantras? Mantras? Some mantras that I found about giving yourself grace. This is not mine. I'm not stealing anyone's work. Again, I found this online and I'm just going to read it to you guys. And I'll also post it here on the screen. Again, this is some give yourself grace mantras. I am creating a wonderful life. Life is about balance. I deserve to be where I am. I am on my own path. And that goes again without comparing yourself to anybody. I keep the past behind me. I release control. I have a strong support system. I add value to the world and do. I can't be replaced. It's okay to say no. Big one that I had to learn, giving myself grace. It's okay to say no and not feel bad about it. I use failure as a motivation. And that's simply, I think I said this in a previous episode, Every L is not a loss. Sometimes it's a lesson and it just puts you in a position to get further in life from learning from that lesson. I am my top priority. And I think this is a big one for me because I am my top priority. I needed rest. Take the rest, take the day off, take the sick day, take whatever you need to take. My sensitivity is my strength. I'm sensitive, but I know I'm strong, so. And lastly, my voice and opinion matter. My voice and opinion matter, and it does. And on that note, I'm really done this time. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you on the next episode of Wine Town Wednesdays.